Well, this is rather unfortunate. Um, appear to be stuck. Let me through! No! Stupid Akash! <laughs> Why have you betrayed me? Uh, I'm probably going to have to start this day again. <laughs> well, that's annoying. Okay, uh, I guess I'll be back in a little bit then, I suppose. Unless I can somehow get off the bloody horse. Oh, this is what I get for laughing at Sheila for being stuck in her chicken coop. <sighs> huh? Huh? What? What a nightmare. I had a dream that I was a terrible friend and that karma came back to repay me by getting me stuck in a wall and forcing me to have to quit out of the day without having saved and restart the episode. Oh, thank goodness it was all just a dream. Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley and to Dabberdale Farm where I would never do something as dumb as get stuck in a between a bloody scarecrow and a wall on my horse. No, not me. Right, we are going to start the day off by getting a bunch of fruit a brewing. Uh, let's check on the fortune teller. Spirits are mildly perturbed, very well. It's probably because there's thunder and lightning outside. And it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Oh, not too bad. Now, um, it is Vincent's birthday today. So we need to make Vincent something. Uh, there's nothing actually there. Hmm. Okay. We're going to have to get something for Vincent's birthday, I feel. This is a, a must-do task. Uh, we can go down there. We'll get the flowers down here as well. All right. That's all looking good. There we are. All right. We're going to need some eggs for a birthday cake, it seems. All right. The walls are already messed up, and I have advance warning of this because they were already messed up when I was... I mean, in my dream, because I certainly wasn't recording earlier. No, 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 no. That did not happen. Oh, funny enough, in my dream, my crops are already uh, ready to be harvested as well. Oh, what a coincidence. Right, we've got a bunch of stone. We've got a bunch of towns. We've got a bunch of wood. Why? Why do I need this? I don't know. My dream, my dream self seems to be giving me the evil eye, telling me I need to fix some parts somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I'm becoming clairvoyant. We were joking about this place turning into a rack. It's perhaps the spice melange has started. Be it's a uh, small bloom has happened somewhere in the spice melange in the air. Maybe I am developing a rocular vision. Oh, it's going to be grand. Only not. Because, you know, golden path. And <laughs> it didn't end up too good for, for Lito in the end. Right, okay. I'm going to drop off most of this wild forage. Honestly, uh, yeah, you can go too. Keeping you, and I'm keeping these for Krobus. These can go as well. Everything else coming with. Now, the wood I am picking up because I want to upgrade our barn today. And that is going to require a certain amount of work. Why did I choose this way around? I have no idea. But it's going to require a certain amount of wood. I believe it's 150 stone, or at least that's what I want to say it is. 150 stone and... Is it 300 wood or something around there? I don't know why I'm doing this, but there you go. Alright, let's go and have a gander. See what there is to see. Hello. Ooh. There we are. All the mushrooms. And down to the cow fields. Ooh, let's go through Obviously, they're not going to be allowed out today because it's very, very wet and rainy. Hello. Hello. You're sticking your tongue out. That's awesome. Now, I wonder if there's any particular way to tell if a cow is ready to milk. I have no idea. Uh, but we're going to find out, I suppose. Now, right, okay, you've got plenty of milk. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of watching their facial expressions, trying to work out. They're wiggling their ears, as cows are wont to do. And, oh no, there we are. They've all produced some milk today. Well done. Very happy by this. So maybe it is a, a daily thing. Uh, now the rest of the milk can come with me. Off we go. Thank you very much, girls. 
No, I need an egg for Vincent's birthday cake. Hello, chickens. Require egg. Please keep. Thank you. Wow. That was five eggs, I'm fairly certain. How did you produce five eggs? I thought you only produced one per chicken per day. Oh, wait. Ah, it's probably because they have a... Because, uh, sorry, they've got five hearts. Maybe that means they double produce on occasion. Not just large eggs, but occasionally they'll just produce two of something. That would be rather awesome. Now, I'm not going to store the common mushrooms. We've already got more than enough common mushrooms. I'm going to store the eggs, though. I really should store the cheese, too. Uh, we'll think about it. But, what? Oh, chocolate cake. Thank you. There we go. Enough chocolate cake to last us for a good long while. Cheese is going somewhere very special soon. Uh, everything else is good. We'll drop off the milk as well. And I think we... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's make uh, some fried mushrooms as well. Because that's George's favourite meal, so... That might be nice to take to him. Kasha, I need a pass. I'm not taking you back through that field. No, 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 you've lost field privileges, Akasha. Bite me once, shame on you. Bite me twice, shame on me. Right. We're not going to be able to get any crops today, unfortunately. Simply because we do not have any... Uh, anywhere we can go and uh, buy the crops. It, well, you know, Jojo Mart. But as I said, there's no way that we can go and buy the crops. So, all that it comes down to is I need a fair chunk more wood. Right, I'm going to get to chopping wood down. Oh, I'm sorry, butterflies. Please do not get uh, messed up in the rain. But I shall bring you back when we have 400. Okay, there we go. We have got enough wood at this point, and quite a lot of hardwood as well. And there's more besides down there if we want to go and grab some. But uh, I've also planted a little bit of grass in that field. I was given the advice that using uh, my fallow field to grow hay would actually be a really, really good idea. And I agree. That's fantastic. Uh, let's drop these off then. We've got a fair few of them. I also don't need these to come with me. All right, I think we're ready to go. Now, we've got a bit of a busy day ahead. We need to go over to Robin's. We need to get Robin to set up our um, larger chicken coop. That's going to take a little bit of time. Oh, hello, Wiggly Worms. More clay? No, more stone this time. Fair enough. We need to get more forage. I want to get my forage skill up, honestly. As much forage as we can. Then we are going to head into town. Go chat with Vincent. Give him his birthday cake. Hey there, Robin. How are you doing? Hey there, Avak. A beautiful flower for you. Thank you, that's really nice. Uh, we want to construct farm buildings, and we want a larger chicken coop. There we go, we've got everything we need, and it was 450 stone, fantastic, and it's only one, uh, 10,000 gold. Yes, go ahead. Select the coop to upgrade. I mean, it has to be this one, it's the only one I've got. Okay, I'll start working on your coop upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Now, I'm not sure how that's going to affect the, uh, the chickens in there. This is a super gift. Thank you. Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. When it rains, I have a good excuse to work on my gadget all day. You don't need an excuse to do that. Must be kind of boring for you, though. No, I got loads of stuff done on a rain day. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Yep. Let me through, Demetrius. Or, you know, I can just wait for you to move. Actually. Sebastian. You're lucky you might see a frog in this weather. Here you go. 
I really love this. How did you know? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Alright. Uh, On to the next location, I would say. Now, we can go ahead and try to make another cheese um, press. And that's going to only take a little bit of copper. Probably also get the worm bin for some regular baits, which I really think we're going to need if we want to get our fishing skill up. Which we do. Our fishing skill is not far off. It's eight, almost up to ten now. Foraging is very close to ten. Combat is the lowest of our skills, interestingly enough. All right. Well, we need to make... Well, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wander over here, see if I can find Linus. It's been a little while since I've talked with Linus. Where would Linus be when it was raining? Linus? No, no Linus. Uh, okay, well... Let's, let's go and have a quick gander. Maybe Linus is in his tent because it's raining. Oh no, Linus is under the tree. I spent a lot of time thinking. If you can fully understand the reasons behind your thoughts, you'll have reached a new level of being. Ah, oh, that is actually remarkably deep. Uh, here you go, Linus. Chocolate cake! This is a great gift, thank you. You're more than welcome, my friend. Let's see, where is Linus these days? Linus is seven hearts. That's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. Let's go. We must head south. I want to go and see if we can't... Ooh, more forage. We want to go and see if we can't find Vincent and give Vincent a gift. I imagine Vincent's going to be at his home at the moment. That would be my guess as to where... Oh, well, it just happened then. Sounded a bit, uh, a bit loud, honestly. Oh, nothing around here. Now, the shop is going to be closed on Wednesday. So I'm not sure where Abigail might be. There's Vincent I really need to find. Hey, Alex. Thanks. It's like a good day to play catch, huh? Go long. Just kidding. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Leah. Maybe I should cook something new and exciting today. Something spicy. Sure. There's Kent. Beat you. Uh, huh. Aha! Oh, goodness. Vincent! I didn't forget your birthday! A birthday gift! That's very kind of you. I love it. Oh, you're welcome, dude. I want to put bugs, but mum won't let me. It's a tough choice. Did you wipe your boots off before coming in? Sorry. I just cleaned the floor. Uh, that's fine. Ugh, I hate this. Really? Daffodils? There's something wrong with you. Something deeply unsettling. Here you go, Kent. Hey, now, this is a really great gift. Thanks. You're welcome. You've been here a while now, haven't you? Your farm must be thriving. Uh, yeah, not doing too bad. Right, well, it's 5.40pm. Emily is almost certainly... Ooh, where am I now? I just can't get this jar open! I'm going my tight! I'm being possessed by the demons! Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm done now. No need to call the exorcist. It's okay. Oh, it's you! Avak, right? Wow, you finally remembered my name. Say, you're pretty strong, aren't you? Uh, well, apparently, according to Leah. Great! Then you shouldn't have any problem opening this shop. Sure. There you go. Hey, you did it. You're stronger than you look. Well, people stop saying that about me. Oh, my lord. <sighs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> my goodness. In your room? Hey, uh. I spent all morning doing my hair. Now the rain could mess it up. Well, maybe you should spend less time doing your hair. More time you know, doing other things like going out. For me, thank you. You're welcome. Life is hard sometimes, I guess. To be fair, I, uh, I I'm only so nonchalant about it because I've learned to just like not bother with my hair, or rather, I I learned when I had long hair. It's like yeah, no, the wind's just gonna mess it up. I'm just no. 
I'll just tie it back. Or tie it up. It'll be fine. Probus, I've already given two gifts to. Um, Shane, Pam, I could give gifts to you. Alex, I could give a gift to you. Oh, no, I've already given one to you. Gus, Vincent, I've given a gift to. Willie, Haley, Sam. Okay, well. I guess we could and probably should drop by the saloon then. I'm going to go and see if George is in first. Hey, Evelyn. So the most beautiful family of butterflies sunning themselves in the town garden yesterday. Oh, that's lovely. Would you like a daffodil? Oh my, this looks wonderful. That's very kind. See, this is why you're my best friend, Evelyn. You understand that daffodils are glorious. Bloody Jody. Team Jody literally just sank. Their, their ship hit an iceberg. It is now sunk. Everyone on it, dead. This is my favorite thing. Thank you. You're welcome, George. Alex is my grandson. Have I ever told you that already? Uh, no. Oh, actually, I think you may have. Huh? Speak up. Sorry. Take care, guys. Okay, not everyone is dead. I did send out some rescue boats. They didn't manage to save everyone, but at least some people made it. Sam, please don't touch that stuff. Nothing like a nice cold Joja Cola on a sopping wet day, huh? Sam, I was going to give you a gift. I refuse at this point. Oh, hi, Alec. Taking a break from your work? Yeah, a little bit. Me too. Oh, nothing physical. Just some online classes I'm taking. Aha! Just studying online. Ah, oh, fantastic. That answers so many things. Uh, hey, Shane. No, I don't have time to chat with you. I never do. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. I need a little warm me up. Well, you know what, Harvey? That's such a nice gift. Thank you. You're welcome, dude. Uh, no, no. Chocolate cake. Willie. Hmm, you like stuff like this? Uh, uh, I actually don't like chocolate cake. I like chocolate fudge cake. Mostly because there's fudge in it. Good evening, Alec. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honor tonight. Very well, you get a flower. That's very nice of you. Pam. Hey kid, you're too young to be moping around in a place like this. Oh, guess. I like this place. Well, there, Evac, I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Thank you, Gus. A flower. Oh, goodness, are you sure? Yes, yes, I am. Emily, I've heard rumors of rare and powerful magic rings forged long ago in forgotten civilizations. I'm not sure if it's true, or just fairy tale. I like to believe it's true. Also, daffodil for you. Thank you, I'm feeling positive energy from this. Everyone likes daffodils, except for Jody. I'm sorry, you will never be forgiven for this, Jody. The Welsh in me refuses. Today would be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows, you might find some rare ores. Uh, I might do. Or I can find a gold, a gold bar. Oh, okay, maybe I don't. Two beers. Hey, now. Uh, sorry. Hey, hey. Now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. Shane. For you too. Oh wow, Avak. How do you know this is my favorite rat? Because I see you drinking it all of that time. And why would you drink something that isn't your favorite? I need this one for me. Charge. Slowly. Charge really slowly. Might be too late. I am too late. Uh, ha, ha. Uh, oh well. It was fate. Fated. It was. Ah. How you doing, Elliot? Oh, it's locked. Why is there two of me? Why? I can't be that drunk. I had one beer. My goodness. That's not how it works. I'm stuck with one and built like a tank. I could drink like five or six before it even hit me. Well, that's not quite true. I haven't drunk in a fair while, so it probably would hit me fairly quickly. Uh, 
Up late, huh? Yeah. Yeah, have a cold one. I just... Uh, okay, fine. Thank you, dude. In the rain. Honestly, Shane, this is a little bit of a low. We sat on a pier in the rain drinking. <sighs> Life. Oh, serious talk time music. You ever feel like no matter what you do, you're going to fail? Yeah, I felt like that a few times before. It's kind of why I just said, ah, screw it, and randomly changed country. Moved away from everyone I knew. So that I'd have to start again. Like you're stuck in some miserable abyss and you're so deep you can't even see the light of day. Yep. The last time I felt like that, I immediately quit my job. And I, again, just moved. It's like, if you ever find yourself in a position where you could stay there, like it's easy enough, it's not demanding of you in any way. And you're like, I could see myself being here in 10 years time, just as miserable. I go to sleep every night. Kind of hating going to sleep because it means that tomorrow I'm going to wake up and have to go to a job. Stop. Your life's, your life's worth too much for that. Don't waste it. <sighs> That's free advice, by the way, Shane. Quit Joja now. I just feel like no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong enough to climb out of that hole. Uh, you're probably underestimating your strength, honestly. That's just your depression talking. Ah, see, you've driven me to drink. Damn it. <laughs> Fast drinker, huh? Man after my own heart. Just don't make it a habit. You got a future ahead of you still. Don't worry. I'm I'm gonna need a wee in about five minutes and all of that beer you just gave me just wasted completely. I'm sorry, my kidneys are too efficient. Well, my liver's begging me to stop. Better call her tonight. See you around, Alec. Why do they always pull me off my horse? Thank you, though, I can't see. You always stick around. It was a bit of a touching scene, though. I wonder what my heart level is with Shane. 3 hearts with Shane. Okay. I doubt it, but let's see. Is Leah already asleep? Hello? Yeah, it's locked. What a horrible place, though, that everyone locks their front doors. Oh, mind you, I've been robbed in front of my own house. Actually, no, everyone's being very sensible about it. Never mind. <laughs> I've never lived somewhere where I felt the need to lock my door when I go to sleep. I mean, the, the very idea of it depresses me hugely. And I've lived in some rough places for Wales. Ah, <sighs> what a day. Well, you know what? I've got something to do. I want you, and I want you, and I would like you. I can only have one. That is a shame. Ah, it's probably the stone that I lack now. 45 stone. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll get that tomorrow, I suppose. But today, we've got this, so let's go and make use of it. Oh, I should have taken the cheese down to the uh, community centre. Oh, well. There we go. Alright then. Blossom looks fine. Fantastic. I'm very glad that you are fine, Blossom. Ah, I didn't bring the extra... No. Oh, well. Never mind. Right. Akasha, last thing I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to check on the chickens, make sure that they've been fed. Because you never know. Yes, they've been fed. Fantastic. And since I'm here... Pop these in there as well. Now, I'm wondering how this is going to affect my chickens, honestly. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Alright, off we go. Kasha, you honestly make everything so much easier. Thank you so much. I am going to... Well, you know what? I, I would love it if I could just give my animals food so I could, like, treat them. I would so be bringing Akasha apples right now. Just 
hop up on the on the fence beside her beside her little stable. The apple in hand, just you know, chilling out, watching the storm. There we go. Forty-seven thousand. Uh, it's forty-seven. I wish four four thousand seven hundred and twenty-one. Not too bad. I actually sold a fair bit of forage today, so that makes sense. Eleventh of spring is here. And nothing for two days, and then it's the egg festival. Right, okay. Well, actually, looking at the time, I'm going to wrap this episode up there. I do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next, as ever. I look forward to any feedback you may have. And, of course, a like on the video will let me know that you want to see more side of you in the future. But until then... To take care, everyone.